So we get our outer defenses repaired up quickly, hopefully. Uh, what did we just invalidate? The science. Oh, okay. I did not realize that was a replacement. Interesting. I mean, I don't think we really need it. That one that has like three turns left, I don't think 15% production is really going to make a difference. Let's just grab, I don't know, just more attack power. Why is that not taking? Slot you in. Confirm. Yes. <laughs> Very weird. Uh, okay, our governor, or our, not governor, our uh, guy at home, our quartermaster. So you're still staying here. Counter spy back at home. Just keep our keep our governor safe. Another jet bomber. You can actually attack some of these guys, which is you know, I will. That's that's fine. Get you a little XP. Okay, so just I don't know, just get source or something. That guy completely. Um, so you need to be five away. One, two, three, four, five. So you're just gonna scooch up a little bit. You still don't have your promotion. Scooch up there. One, two, three, four, five. So you just need to be there. Choose you. Hopefully, get you promotion soon. Uh, we'll use you, I guess. I don't know if it really matters, but you will get a promotion out of that. Oh, no, you don't. I thought you did. Close. Three points away. It's a pretty good little wonder. Some food and culture for uh, the tiles around it, right? Or is it the tiles on it? Oh, it's the tiles on it, but still. Still pretty, pretty decent. Actually, for some reason, I was thinking it was more than that. It, it, it literally is just two and two, huh? Why did I think it added up to, like, some sort of extra on top of what you're sitting on? Never mind. That's actually less good. I mean, early game, early game, if you get that by your first city, some really upfront culture to kind of escalate it up. But at some point, yeah, that, that will not be useful because it's only four total yield, which is not that good. Oh, I just moved something, but that's okay. We just got this city. Uh, we may just go ahead and take out Granada just because it's a really good jumping off point to jump over here. Besides, we don't want anybody else to have Granada. Come on now. Um, you know what? We will actually move you up. In fact... Oh, hello, Mapuche. What are you doing over here? Got enough tanks. You don't have enough movement, do you? Oh, you do. Two cities. I will take it. What is Mapuche doing over here? It's interesting. Where did your capital move? Oh, way back over there. That's... Again, that's convenient. That means a lot of these other places are a little bit more up for grabs as far as loyalty flipping. So that's fine. So now we just go after Granada. Who is your happy person? Saladin. Okay. Which we can uh, we can deal with that. I 
thought it showed that you could hit there. You can, though. Truthfully, we could peace out Indonesia, except that it's way too early. We need, we're only like, what, three turns in? Two turns in. Two turns in. But we've gotten everything we need from Indonesia. Got two more loyalty flippings going on at the same time. 15 turns, 11 turns, so that's good to see. Come on. You gonna attack? It says you want to attack. Or do you just want to move? You're confusing me. That's alright. Uh builder. Sure, seaside resort. It says we're loyalty flipping that, but since their capital moved over here, I bet that. Uh, does not stick. What civilizations are, are in the game with me? Um, as of right now, we have Mapuche. We have France. What do you want? I'll give you whatever you want. Because you're my buddy, bud, dude. We have Mapuche, we have France, we have Macedon. As you can see, but Macedon... Hard to say he's a civilization. He's more of a city-state at this point. He got conquered, and then we took back a bunch of stuff and just gave him one token city to keep him as an ally for his bonuses, because he is a level level 2 ally. So we're getting a combat strength bonus because... Well, when we're at war with the same person, but we're also getting a 15% production boost uh, when either of us is at war. So we're kind of using him. Don't tell him that. Um, and then obviously, uh, Indonesia and Arabia. We also had China. We had Korea. Is that everybody? Yeah. China and Korea were the other two. And, uh, yeah, that was the uh, civilizations in our game. China and Korea are, I'm actually not sure where China and Korea went. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just because you see some Chinese cities and Korean cities with purple names, that uh, does not mean anything. I don't know where they went. Hey, I tried to peace out Korea and let them keep some cities, but they literally said no. They, they, they said no. I said, here, you can keep your cities. Just give me all your gold and we'll peace out. And they're like, nope. And I'm like, all right. Then we'll take all your cities and all your gold. It's weird. Th th this this particular pop up is a little interesting. I, I don't know if it really makes much sense. And the reason it doesn't make sense is because air units will always be outnumbered because they can never be unless I am I missing something. Can air units be cores? And I just didn't know it because that would be really weird. Like, can I? Like, I'm not, like, missing something, am I? <laughs> I've never seen the button for it. But the fact that you it will always say outnumbered just it seems a little odd to me. I mean, I wish they could be, but I'm pretty confident that they cannot. Uh, it doesn't really matter which of these guys we go after, so just whichever. Yeah, this guy right here with the extra promotion where he does more damage against um, non-cavalry units, um, which obviously that doesn't help this guy, but uh, that really makes these guys pretty good range units. Oh, he plugged in my... I was like, what is, what's going on there? Spy mission aborted, that's fine, because I didn't expect to take that city that quickly. More housing... Uh, we're actually gaining loyalty now. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take your promotion. I don't think they have any fighter. Oh, okay, there is a. Oh, that's a bomber. Never mind. Oh, there's a fighter. Maybe we should have taken the fighter class unit thing. I mean, I guess that's an easy way to get a whole bunch of air points. I say a whole bunch. I mean, it's one at a time, but always kill things with air units because, like I said, they're always outnumbered. Uh, we will use you to attack out because you'll stay in here and still be safe. And then we can always heal you up if we need to. Um, this guy will start punching up through here in a moment. I'm going to let you heal up a tick. Actually, we'll take your promotion. Even better. In fact, that does... No, no, no. If I move you out, take your promotion, then you stop moving. Uh, let's take your promotion now. And then next turn we can advance out. And that does mean I can free myself up to attack with these units. So can I see an aerodrome way out here somewhere? It's not really any great places. You do like Civilization Five. You're not too familiar with Civilization Six. I have played all Civ games though. Oh, that's that's awesome. I uh, I mean I've played them all. I mean Civ One very not much because by the time I got into Civ, it was I think Civ Two was the first Civ game I played, and then I had to go back and play Civ One. I played Civ Two a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, Civ 3, also quite a bit. Civ 4, not as much for some reason. Like, I never got the, um, the expansions until a little later. Like, I, I played initial Civ 4, and then I just kind of, for some reason, just, I don't know why. Just, I didn't play for a while there. I, I never got, like, some of the expansions, um, until, obviously, just recently with some of the bundles you can get with, with things for, for real cheap now. Uh, I played a lot of Colonization for a while, way back then, although I picked it up trying to play recently. You can probably find a video on my channel for that and it, it didn't go so good <laughs> causation is not an easy game to be honest um I, I know there's some mods for it to make it a lot more like kind of playable now because you know some of the rules and stuff like that are maybe a bit dated in some sense but um i like colonization all right it was fine but which which the reason i say that because that's based obviously based off the civ civilization 4 um engine of sorts uh civ 5 i play quite a bit like a lot, a lot as well. I don't know, a couple thousand hours, uh, 1500 at least, uh, something like that. I don't remember. It's, it's, it's a very large amount of time. Um, and then of course, Civ 6 is, is my new game that I played a pretty decent amount. There is only one game that may borderline have more hours played than all of my Civ games combined. And I would be embarrassed to tell you what it is. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not that embarrassed. It's it's it's, it's a cool game. Uh, I play. I have played World of Warcraft for since vanilla. Since the since actually not even vanilla. Since open beta. I didn't get into closed beta for for the original vanilla, but I got into closed to open beta. Obviously, I jumped on when that. And I have basically played ever since. I mean, I've had a few times where I've kind of dipped off and not played as much. But all said and done, I have. Far too many hours in that game. It's probably the only game that can compete with Civilization. But Civilization is a very close second. If you add up all of the different Civilization games over the years. I really don't know why I'm overthinking these. Like, these back here don't matter. Actually, you know what? I'm actually in the, the stage of the game where I should just pick whatever. It's just going to take a while. Just produce something that's just going to take you a while to produce. Get me a blah, 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 blah. Get me a ship, a submarine. I want you to make me a nuclear submarine because it's going to take you 24 turns and I won't have to think about you for a while. I'm going to put a harbor in the middle of a lake. Again, 23 turns. And by the time the 23 turns is up, 
this game will likely be over. And I say that and then I just pick something. If it's an easy pick, I'll just grab it real quick. No big deal. The monument ones are... are I'll knock those out real quick as well because they help a little bit with loyalty. There you are. Just in time for two turns left. <laughs> Didn't even make a difference. Um, but if I decide to do anything else, then it'll help. Hmm, Arabia. Arabia, Arabia, Arabia. Like, how, where are you? You have finished one thing. It's like, <laughs> this would be very sad to lose this at this point. I mean, I see the spaceport. Can I not just put my spy there? Come on, just, just go. Um, we'll get there. We're, we're gonna find places soon enough. Just, just go somewhere, I guess. You can. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with you, at this point in time. You know what? I know what to do with you. Just for reasons. Come over here to Renee or whatever. That's how you say that, right, Renee? I may be wrong, and I, so I apologize. Um, and we're going to flip some loyalty. For the lack of anything else to do. Jet Bomber, I will need to rebase you at some point. In fact, I will go ahead and rebase you because I'm going to want you to help attack up there. I'm hoping this is close enough because I don't want to take that spot. I want that to be open for a fighter. You, however, can help attack. My bath empire. <laughs> I do have a lot of, a lot of baths. That is true. It is a very clean. This has been a very clean game. I, I'll be honest. It's very clean. I ask you to forgive me for the puns and things, but there's there's no forgiveness, so it's not, why bother? Um, not for that kind of thing. Just kill this guy. No, it's been a good game. We I think we're doing pretty good. Our empire's gotten really big very quickly. Civ 4 was your least favorite, but the classics were good. Uh, Civ 3, Civ 2, and yes, Civ 5. I like Civ 2 a lot, and Civ 3 was pretty good. Like, which one was it that had the video, like the movies? And there was and there was there was the one with the movies and there was the one with the the actual like actors that were your counsel. And that was Civ Two, wasn't it? Or was it Civ Three? I kind of get them all. They all kind of blur together at some point, to be honest. Um, but those are some really good ones, <laughs> especially back in the day when you just graphics were just you know whatever. But you know you get this actor up there just being silly and just they were they were great. They were great. <clears throat> the good old days. Yeah, sure, we'll just kill you off. Oh, look, we were outnumbered. I guess that's score, technically. You're playing Civ 5 as France right now. Well, hope you do better than this France did. Actually, this France did really good until I came along. But honestly, that's the reason why... AIT gets such huge production bonuses because as soon as a player gets rolling like if you've never played a deity game for some reason you've been like you know I'm afraid to try or you know you've struggled with some of the other games once you get over the first hump once you get over the hump of just just they're producing way more than you and you just kind of got to get to that hump it, then it just you, you, you outthink them so quickly uh, the AI just is not not able to keep up which is why they get all those production bonuses. So we're kind of, like I said, we're kind of in autopilot mode. Really, the only thing that's helping them still is is the fact that Saladin, if we left him alone for 10 more turns even, he might be able to finish this game. Probably probably not 10, but probably less than 20. I, I, I wouldn't be too surprised. They get some pretty big production bonuses. Especially if he got any of the uh, great science. Oh, especially if he gets to this one. 
I mean, currently Mapuche's in the lead, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I don't know if I need to waste. I mean, tempting, but I don't think we're worried about that because I don't think Arabia is going to get that one. All right, um, let's just go ahead and sneak up here and let's declare a war on you. Sorry, sorry, Granada. It's not personal. You're just kind of strategically good to jump off from. Especially since Cairo's right there. Like, Cairo's the capital of... Arabia in this game, right? I played Arabia. How I should know this, but I forget because it, it's some weird way. It doesn't make sense to me that Cairo is because I'm like Cairo. That's Egypt, right? Um, but I thought I thought it is in this game, isn't it? I know. It's, I mean, obviously, it's one of their cities, but I kind of forget what the name of their capital is. One, two, three, four, five. Arabia was the very first civilization I played as. To be fair, do I bother bother with the? district. If I can get a tank to sneak past it, then no. Well, since I can, then I say no. Um, okay, you're ready to attack. It's a little bit of a risk because I am leaving this guy a little hanging. One, two, three, four. But it should be okay. Oh, not close enough. Never mind. I mean, I can always run away with him. Um. Because, yeah, we're not going to be able to take the city this turn. There's just not enough spots around it. Let's just clear out some stuff. And that'll be fine. We'll, we'll take it next turn. Not going to be a problem. It's funny, the city-state put up more of a fight than the uh, rest of the stuff, but that's mostly because of just location. Uh, we can move you up and... Nope, not quite. I was going to say, we might be able to take this thing out. 